Hey everyone, this is Jason Kebler, the Editor-in-Chief of Motherboard, and what we have right here is my brand new 2017 iMac with 4K Retina display. It's very pretty. This is the first time in five years that Apple has issued an iMac of this size, the 21.5 inch, that actually has upgradable RAM. I wanna see, can an average person upgrade this computer? I like to open up a ton of browser tabs, which kills the RAM. So I wanna take it from eight gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. One of the reasons I'm doing this myself is because it's a lot cheaper than having Apple do it when you buy the computer. To upgrade from eight to 16 costs $200. I bought this RAM for $200 and it goes from eight to 32. So I'm doubling what Apple will sell and it's $200, the same price. Apple does not want customers to upgrade their own computers. I say that's nonsense, you should do it yourself. I'll have to take out basically everything in the computer and rebuild it from scratch. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think I was gonna succeed. I don't wanna throw money in the trash, but also I'm not gonna pretend like I'm an expert. So I would say there's like a 90% chance that I succeed, probably a 5% chance that I make a small error that can be fixed later, and maybe a 5% chance that I completely destroy the computer and have to buy a new one. I will be using the iFixit guide. It's basically a step-by-step -step guide. It tells you what parts to remove in what order. It's got 64 steps, moderate difficulty level. No one knows how long it's gonna take. I hope it takes like an hour or two maybe, but we'll, we'll find out. In order to do these upgrades, you'll need the following. We've got two sticks of RAM, two iFixit credit cards, a pizza cutter, a spudger, tweezers, small screwdriver, Phillips head, and adhesive strips to put the screen back on. Hold the power button down for 10 seconds, which decharges the capacitors inside um, on the power supply unit. So I'm holding the power button right now. I don't know what it means, honestly. I know that it uh, basically makes it less dangerous. <laughs> um, I know that the capacitors inside the computer are attached to the power supply, and basically I don't want to get shocked. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I think it's been probably 10 seconds. Um, okay. Step one, complete. <laughs> Step two, starting on the left side of the display near the power button, insert the iMac opening tool, this is the pizza cutter, into the gap between the glass panel and the rear enclosure. It is very much like a pizza cutter, it's just a wheel. I can feel give, okay, yeah, it's giving, which is good. You wanna go back and forth a few times over what you've already cut just to make sure that it's actually, you're actually separating the display here. And I'm using quite a bit of force one thing you want to be really careful about, and I'm going to be very careful about, is the webcam uh, has a bunch of wires near it, so I'm going to cut near it and then stop. If you use something else to cut, like a knife or, or something, an X-Acto knife, and you go further than 3 8 inch pushing it in, you'll start to get to a place where you can damage some wires, and you really don't want to cut some wires. I'm going to lay the computer down. Oops on my operating table here. And then I'm going to grab this plastic card. It's just a super thin, it's basically just a credit card, but you can't buy anything with this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna stick it into the corner, the top right corner. So it's wedged in just a tiny bit. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm creating a little more separation between the glue and the display. And yeah, so this is the part that makes me most nervous just because it is a very expensive display and you don't want to crack it. This is good. It's coming it's coming up quite a bit. Yeah, so there's a little glue I missed on this side, no problem. Cutting through it again. You just want to take this part really slow, I'd say, um, because it's a critical part of the repair. So let's see. Yeah, that feels better. Yeah, there's a lot of glue. I knew that this part wouldn't be pleasant, so uh, honestly, this wasn't quite as hard as I was expecting thus far. Uh, we'll see, you know, we'll see if I actually get it out. Left side still needs a little bit more. Um, I can tell because I can see the glue. Um, it's not like, it's pretty like industrial strength stuff and it's not easy to cut through. 
Apple uses glue in the pursuit of making things thinner. Yeah, this is gross. So much glue. OK. OK, I think I got past the sticking point here, which is not a pun. <laughs> Um, there was one strand of glue that was preventing me from really prying this thing up, but let's see. Oh, yeah, okay, this is good. I'm gonna pull out my phone and just light the inside. Basically, there are two wires in here that I wanna disconnect that are connected to the logic board. So this just comes out, you just pull it against the connector. So one is disconnected. I, if you're following along at home, if you're trying to do this yourself, this is around step 20. Um, there's another cable in here that you basically need to flip something up before you pull it out. I was a little scared to be rough with it. You don't want to be rough, of course, but I just wasn't pulling hard enough. I'm going to take these five screws out. So I'm drawing a little box and I'm going to put these four screws in that box so that I know they go, they go together. We are going to take the power supply out. Nothing should happen, but there's exposed metal on here and there was voltage running through it, you know, an hour ago. So all you have to do is not touch any of the metal stuff. I'm just gonna push it with the spudger. Yep, it's out. You wanna be careful. You just wanna make sure you're touching the sides of this, not the top and bottom where the capacitors are. Don't pull it because it's still connected. There's still a wire that we, we're gonna need to take out. Wiggle it out of here. And then I'm gonna flip it. So you can see these coils. These are things you don't wanna touch. I'm just trying to find an angle at which I'm able to see what's going on. Um, well, there are a lot of things. Okay, so one of these cables is already disconnected. The other cable is down here and it connects to the motherboard. I'm gonna pull it with a spudger a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna pull this cable out. These cables are tight, like there's not a whole lot of give. Um, they're not long. Um, it's not coming out readily, so I wanna make sure I'm pulling the right thing. So I need to get this cable out. Um, it's like extremely important is to make sure you're pulling on the right thing and in the right direction. So I'm pulling pretty hard and it's not coming, which is not, Ideal. So there's no shame in watching someone else do it. Um, I'm watching another video right now, and I'm basically seeing stuff that I can't see in a diagram. I want to see what this guy does when he pulls out this cable. So there's a tab on the bottom of this cable, and if you squeeze it, it should come out. Yep, see? So there's a little squeeze tab at the, on the bottom that you cannot see and you need to push on that, otherwise it's not gonna come out. I'm gonna flip this up for a sec. Um, there's another cord in here that I just need to get out. Um, I think I can just grab and pull that one. Nope, let's see. I don't really know what I'm doing here either. This cable has a tab similar to the one you just attached. Yep, so there's a tab on this one too. Yeah, got it. This is what turns the computer on. It basically manages the current going into the computer and powers it. Um, there's some batteries on the back, which I presume make like power, low power stuff when the computer's off so that it knows what programs are open and stuff like that, but I, I don't know. I would say settle in for like a long day of doing this. Don't expect to do it like in an hour or something. It might take three or four hours to do. Um, I'd say that it's like pretty fun, but uh, I, I might have a different sense of fun than a lot of people. <laughs> There's a screw in this rubber thing that I almost just snapped off. Oh, it's part, so this is a screw. It's like a big rubber. Thing. I don't know what it does. Who cares? <laughs> There's a lot of screws in here, so you just take them all out, basically. <laughs> There's another screw under here. It's out, but I lost it. Come on. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Next step is take the fan out. Sometimes the steps do themselves. <laughs> now there are four screws that hold the logic board in. And 
we are going to take it out. This is the logic board, which is the most important part of the computer. Um, the CPU is here. The, all the connectors that are on the back, you can actually see if you look right here. Um, so there's like an Ethernet port. There's some USB ports. There's USB-C. There's an SD card slot. Like this is where everything happens. The RAM is right here. We're going to take this out and put the new stuff in. I'm going to just pull it out. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the second one. Take off this sticker. It's a thermal pad is what they call it. And then you want to put it on the new one. Put it in at an angle and then push it down. But this is what it should look like. The two sticks of RAM are in there. They're solid. The napkin helps, so trust me. Like It looks stupid, but the napkin's important. Um, next, we need to put the fan back in. So here's the fan. The fan goes here. Last thing, I have this thingamabob. Uh, I'm just gonna put it back in where it came from. I don't know what it does. I don't care to know. A brand new iMac with 32 gigabytes of RAM and no screen. So we need to put the screen on. I'm gonna put the display back on using these adhesive strips. The other hole, and that way you can line it up perfectly. Make sure everything's aligned. You can tell because it's just flush. We did it. it took like four or five hours, but it, but we did it. I bought this RAM for $200 and it goes from eight to 32. So I'm doubling what Apple will sell. But I would say that if you have never taken anything apart before, you could probably do this. This wasn't that hard.